Morris, one of the legends of local football, has been one of the persons behind the growth of futsal in Trinidad and Tobago. As head coach of the national deaf futsal team, he believes the players are better prepared for this challenge than they were one year ago. I know this is, is, a, is, a really, is a challenge, right? But we have, unlike last year, we, last year we just basically had maybe about two months to prepare the team. And as I said, the, the guys didn't know anything about futsal, mm -hmm. right? A lot of them um, know about football. And by, putting, by training them, we realize even some of the football basic techniques, you know, it, it, they don't have it. Mm -hmm. So given we had, what, eight months to prepare this time. So we took the, 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 the um, opportunity to, to go back to a lot of the basics. He is also happy with the individual development of the players. They have improved a lot from, from last year, right? They improved a lot. We still would have liked to have, you know, a, a better cadre of players, so to speak. You know, we try our best was to get more players involved because you know is is you have you must have this disability with uh, your hearing or your speech in order to qualify you to participate with the team. Mm. So you know, given the, the Trinidad and Tobago with, with this population of 1.3 million, unlike the the teams we are going to play, you know, the the the, the Brazils and the Argentina and the the Kenya and the Ghana Ghana, you know, so. We know we have a limited pool to choose from. The team's journey to the World the Championships has not been without some off-the-court challenges. We still have some challenges with some of the, the, the um, costs for accommodation, which is key. I know we got, we got assistance from the office of the Prime Minister towards the, the airfare, and um, which we're really grateful for that. Um, as, you, as you just um, remind me, the, the um, accommodation, that is still, you know, funds, we still shorten funds there. Mm -hmm. And we really hope that, that um, Trinidad and Corporate Trinidad and Tobago will come out and give this support. Kent Fuentes, TTT Sports.